I've basically been working with the coolest molecule in the world. It's called MHC class one. You can see it as a lock which receives keys that, that fits into this lock. And these keys, they come from different uh, viruses. By knowing which parts of virus that the MHC will bind, we're trying to identify things derived from, for example, influenza, that can specifically activate the immune system. And these things can then be put together to design a new and more specific vaccine with a greater impact but fewer adverse effects. So here we have a raw blood sample from a goat which has been exposed to influenza. We take the blood and add it to the liquid in the other tube so that we can separate the immune cells from the rest of the components in the blood. When you combine the tiny molecular biochemistry with the more overall immunology and all the systems, if you, all of a sudden you have a tool that is so impressive with a lot of possibilities to improve health, uh, not only in Denmark, but on a global level. If it works in a pig or in a goat, it might uh, also work in humans. So the, the steps that we're taking here and the bridges that we're building can eventually be used to develop human vaccines as well. The centrifuge is spinning the samples at a very high speed to separate the immune cells from the rest of the blood components. So what we see here is the immune cells isolated as a band in the middle of the liquid and then all the other blood components in the bottom of the tube. From the very beginning of my PhD program I got the chance to uh, go abroad uh, through a collaboration with the United States Department of Agriculture to do research uh, within my PhD program. When will you ever get the opportunity to live outside Manhattan and work on a homeland security facility in the United States? You get clearance by FBI and you get to work with some of the world's best scientists. It was a unique place to work on the island and they had some unique vaccine platforms that we could really test with my, my uh, assays and methods combined with, with their platforms to achieve better uh, results. We are a veterinary institute. Our primary aim is to develop medicine and vaccines for animals. Most of them are good producers of immune components and also good models to uh, analyze vaccine impact and vaccine effects. If you think of it uh, on behalf of Denmark and the production, of course, the milk production, the meat production will, will uh, go up if the animals have uh, high standards and, and are more uh, well. We've developed the methods to design and create better and more specific vaccines. Now uh, it's up to me and up to others to do more science so that we can get a real result instead of, uh, of just developing the methods. Thank you.